If you're a Go developer, you're probably excited about Go 111, but you might also be wondering, does App Engine support the new runtime? Can I write idiomatic Go and run it on App Engine? And if you're writing Go for the cloud, the last thing you want to do is worry about maintaining and deploying infrastructure. App Engine, Google's platform as a service, handles all that for you so you can focus on what's important, writing Go code. Let's show them how. We're going to show you how to deploy a Go application to App Engine using the new Go 111 runtime. Now with the new Go 111 runtime, it's incredibly easy to write idiomatic Go code and deploy it to App Engine. All you need are three things. Your Go code, a YAML file that describes your runtime, and a vendor directory with your dependencies. Let's take a look at each one. First, we'll write a small HTTP server that listens on port 8080 and responds with hello world to all requests. Our code is idiomatic and totally unconcerned with the underlying infrastructure. Next, we need to specify the runtime we want for our app. So in the root of our project, add an app YAML file with just one line in it, go 111. And finally, here's our file structure with a vendor directory. We're using Go support for vendoring our dependencies, which the new runtime supports out of the box. Also, if you're interested in trying out Go support for modules, the runtime supports that as well. Now that we've finished writing our app, let's deploy it. It takes only one command, gcloud app deploy. Let's start a timer. While we're waiting for the app to deploy, let's talk about what makes App Engine a great choice for Go applications. First, the new Go runtime. Not only does it have first-class support for vendoring, it also supports Go modules. You can use any library or framework that makes sense for your application, all while writing that familiar, idiomatic Go code that all gophers love. And you get the benefits of Google App Engine's standard environment, things like fast deployments, building in the cloud, managed security updates, support for HTTPS, scaling to zero when the app is idle, in addition to logging metrics and error reporting. And with that, our app is deployed. There it is. We're both really excited about the new runtime, and we hope you are too. I'm Eno Compton. And I'm Angela Funk. Feel free to leave questions or comments in the section below. Reach out to us on Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to the Google Cloud Platform YouTube channel for more Go videos. Thanks for watching.